What's going on my silly? This is your boy Silly Bones and right now guys we will be getting to a reaction video later on today but right now today's video that I will be posting on today is about Kappa. If you're new to my channel hit that like button, leave comments down below, hit that little subscribe button. Today I'm going to be talking about Kappa and what it is and basically what is the future for YouTubers, reactors, dancers and all the nine yards. Um, we'll start with what Kappa is. Kappa is, is a protection act that protects kids from targeted ads, um, publications, and from companies getting cookies from the internet browser that they're using. Um, basically, uh, from 13 and under, um, advertisers are not allowed to get um, thing um, are not allowed to get um, things like like all right. For example, kids can't. Uh, tell the difference between what's a video and what's an ad so pretty much what that means is there could be something on um, on the, the the thing that they're watching that could be an advertisement and the kids can't tell the difference and plus for those that ca that um, can target those they got to get permission from the family of the mother and father for them to be able to do that so Basically, what happened with YouTube was they were not following the regulation, and FTC found out, COPPA found out what was going on, and pretty much fined YouTube $170 million for what was going on. So what YouTube decided to do was they signed, they signed a, a contract with YouTube basically stating uh, YouTube creators must followed by the COPPA laws in order to continue being a creator on YouTube. And if you don't follow the guidelines, then what it tends to happen is they can find you up to $42,000, which is crazy. Um, so you guys are aware, the Silly Bones, Shady Shay, for the people that are watching our channels, um, we're all safe. Um, most of the videos that we create are not for kids, so we're safe. Um, so basically, what what has to be done before January of 2020 you either have to mark your YouTube channel uh, not for kids or for kids but if the FCC decides that your video is meant for children they could find you up to forty two thousand dollars and basically what could happen um, basically if you are if your channel is made for kids you lose your comments, you lose your stories, you lose um, basically getting a hold of your community, um, which is in some videos, or is your channel fully made for kids, then possibility you won't have a channel. Um, so just be careful what you do and what you create now because it's it's getting more crazy. It's you know, but there is a safe line to it, um, and what the safe line is is um if you go to if y'all have something called what's gonna help against that is if you have something called um yt studios it will basically tell you what uh your audience base is um who watches your videos who's you know interested in your videos you know and based on my audience most of my audience is ranges from 25 to 34 that's like the biggest number and uh, then it will be 35 to 44 then 18 to 20 yeah 18 to 24 then 45 to 54 55 to 64 13 to 17 is like one percent and then so based on that numbers it basically tells them that my channel is not for kids um but um i will be doing like a little screenshot and i will be playing um on this video i will be playing some of the video from or i might just put a link so you guys can watch that video for yourself um but i will be um also linking um the site as well onto the description down below so you guys can look for it for yourself and what kappa is and 
what Delio is, and um, basically it's it's. An, I'll, I'll read some of it. Uh, Kappa is an organization of the SEC that has a proven implemented safe harbor program that you can also get information about ways to get parental consent, including methods the commissions has approved, process for seeking approval, and new methods. Basically, what it's saying is, um, you be, like I said earlier, you have to get um, parent permission to be able to have the target ads. But this is my point, and this is what I feel, and this is what I think that should happen. And I feel basically that the parents need to get on their guidelines, and they need to, like, have more on top of the kids. It shouldn't be YouTube's responsibility. It shouldn't be content creators' responsibility to 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 want to tell your kids, you know, to know our community, and tell your kids to get off if they're not of age. And plus, in order to create even a, uh, a YouTube uh, channel or even just to create something on YouTube, you need to have you need to be 13 and older. So I don't know. So basically, all these two is the parents not watching their kids. That's that's the point of line. And um, basically, what's going on is the the government is pretty much you know getting on this. And it's sad to see that the government has to be the ones to control y'all kids. It's just terrible. Um, I think that you know parents should do a better job. I think that you know. Um, Cop is not a bad thing because of the simple fact that uh, they have to do their job to protect kids, you know. Um, but it shouldn't be their job to... It didn't have to get this far, in my opinion. Um, some of this is YouTube's fault for the simple fact that uh, they knew what was going on. They knew the laws. And now they owe so much money. Um, I don't think... YouTube's got a downfall because YouTube is a billion dollar company and it's going to continue getting millions and millions and millions of dollars. But I, I believe that, you know, there's going to be a lot of things happening very, very soon. Um, a lot of things going to be changing um, very, very soon. Like always, like every year something's changing, right? Um, but I do feel bad for those other creators that do have family channels, kid channels, toy channels. Um... You're going to be seeing slowly those channels disappearing. I also wonder about, you know, Logan Paul's, Jake Paul, um, KSI. Um, some of these people, maybe Quadeca, some of these people do have those underages. So I don't know if their channel is going to be totally taken off, if they're going to get fined. Um, because most of their stuff, most of their fan base is kids and under the age. So, I have no idea, uh, but I do feel bad for the, I do feel bad. Uh, what's going to happen to PewDiePie? What's, you know, PewDiePie is one of the biggest channels, and he has mix of ages, and I, I, I believe he has a lot of kids, too. Um, what's going to happen to his channel? So, I don't know how far this is, is, is really going to go in depth and how deep it's going to go, but I can't say there's going to be a lot of changes and a lot of things going to be hoped. Uh, going on um, Let me see I did find something uh, FCC action against YouTube and Google so I'm going to read some of the lawsuit So the lawsuit against YouTube and Google Age company legally collected personal information from children in violation of COPPA The companies collected information of viewers and child director YouTube channels from the form to assist the track of users across the internet by but didn't Notify the parents or consent. YouTube and Google have created a so that channel owners or destiny videos upload YouTube words of COPPA are directed by children. The proposed requirement is to make sure that both YouTube channel and owners comply with the law. determine their content directed by children under copper there's no size fit for the answer directed to, 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 to however to kids under 13 are covered by copper the rules are set um subject matter visual con uh, visual content the use of animated uh, characters 
uh, the kind of music, audio content, the age, the age of model. That's the YT music thing I told you guys about. Uh, not the YouTube, uh, YT Studios. Um, the present of child celebrities who appear, appeal to children. That's going to be insane. Because like I said, Logan Paul. I'm thinking about Logan Paul, Jake Paul, um, KSI, PewDiePie. Um, the list goes on and on and on. Um... And this is the, the main one that gets me. The compent of reliable evidence about the age of the audience. That's what I was telling you about on YT um, Studio. About like what is your base age of the audience. Um, that's going to be very important as well. So they do have the tools to go through every single channel. Because there is a lot of them. And I'm going to be um, scrolling down kind of slow so you guys can read through some of this if you guys really want to. Um, but I, I, I really feel in this matter that, you know, it just it's just sad that pretty much that it's... It's sad that pretty much it had to get to this far and it had to get to this point. Um, I will be linking everything so you guys can see everything for yourself. Um, let me know down below what you guys feel about this matter, but just know Silly Bones is not going anywhere. He's still going to be here because um, my age runs uh, the youngest, the oldest is 25, 34. The youngest is like 18, um, the more percentage. I do have like a few audience like 13 and up, but my most of my audience is adult, so I'm fine. I don't think that's going to happen to the channel. Um, but let me know down below what you guys think. Hit that button and subscribe button. I will be doing a reaction today, but I really wanted to get this video out there so you guys could hear what's going on. I did promise you guys this video a long time ago. But thank you so much for the love and support you've been showing me on this channel. Peace, love, happiness. God is love.